Hey there, how's it going? Great to see you again. Now, a few weeks ago, I entered a competition. I quite often do these and look for these Instagram competitions online because I just like entering them. And this one was hosted by Rubber Monkey in New Zealand in Wellington here. They're a company that sells and rents film gear for people. And this competition was in partnership with Rode for a NT-USB professional Rode desktop microphone. So I thought I would open it up here, share it with you, and show you what's in the box. And if you're interested, there's always stuff down below where you can go and get one for yourself as well. So here it is, is the NT-USB professional USB microphone from Rode, and it looks like that. And on the top of the box, it's got a few things here, studio quality, headphone output, which is useful, USB connectivity and desk stand and pop filter included so that's all the bits and pieces you want to see on the other side here that shows you all the things that are in it oh that's cool it's got a, a pouch for it as well and a USB cable um, and lots of other lingo and bits and pieces in here so let's uh, get this thing out of the box and there we go so here it is open up the box that way double boxing is always good and in here we've got a few different bits and pieces here we go there's a, a pouch really good solid pouch Ooh, there's some other bits in there let's have a look see what it's got that's going to be stickers okay always have to have stickers yeah always have to have stickers every other manufacturer if you include stickers your customers are going to take you more seriously. This is what we really want. We want stickers when we buy stuff. Take note. Also in here is a, a little safety document. It's nice to see the safety document is just that size. And here's the instruction manual, which is in quite a few different languages. So you can find your language, learn how to use it, and you can learn several other languages at the same time. Okay, so there's also this pouch that the whole thing goes into. This is a nice leatherette thing with a reasonable zip on the top of it and road embossed into the front there. I like that. That's cool. Underneath here, we've got another bit of cardboard, and inside here is the microphone itself. Let's pull that out. Oh, okay, that's actually a lot heftier than I was expecting. There's a cable in here. That is a mother long USB cable, which is great because quite often you need to get a cable going all the way from whatever device you're working on to the microphone and that's not necessarily going to be sitting next to each other. So I'll measure this thing in a minute and let you know how long it is. It's this long. And over on the other side here, there's a another box which has got the desktop stand in there. It's just a bit of a lightweight plastic tripod thing. So that's all we need the box for. And here are the bits we've got. I'll take this out of the plastic bag. Now that is solid. That's a solid metal microphone. Yep, that's solid aluminium case. It's actually quite hefty. So this is a hefty microphone. On the side here, we have got the headphone jack. There's a gain for the headphones here. So that's your headphone volume. And this one here seems to go from line level to mic level, but um, you, you can move that around instead of just switching it like a lot of these sorts of things have got. The shock mounty thing here, it's not really a shock mount, but the mounting point here has got a half inch, a three eighths and a three quarters, I think it is, um, mounting pin in there with a uh, thread adapter already in there. And on the end here, we've got a tag um, activate your free extended warranty now which is cool and um, this is a, a little cover with the USB type B socket in there which is obviously the one on the cable as well the little stand is obviously gonna thread into here I'll just put that in and spin that up now stand the microphone up that way tighten it and there we go nice little desktop mount on the stand you can set that up and basically plug the usb cable into it and you're ready to go there so there we go i've got that all put together i'm going to wire this in and plug it into something that i'm recording on probably the atm mini and we'll see how it goes as you can see here there's this neat little blue light down in the bottom of it here that tells you that it's powered and it's on 
and um, now let's uh, try recording some audio. Okay, I'm recording this simultaneously using my usual overhead mic and also with the Rode NT-USB desktop mic so that we can just run them side by side and do a bit of a comparison. They're obviously going to have slightly different sound profiles, but um, I'm expecting them to, to both be very good and I'm really keen to see how good the Rode mic is in compared to the LensGo KD96 that I generally use for my video. So this is a test using the Rode, this is a test using the KD96 and you can hear now what the sound difference is between the two of them. I think we can come to the fairly quick conclusion there that this is a damn fine microphone. You're listening to me speak on it now and the only problem I have with it is, well it's not actually a problem with the microphone, it's a problem with some of this other gear I've got that doesn't have USB-A input into it anymore. So it is restricted to whatever you can plug USB-A into, so I'm certainly not going to be completely replacing my uh, current microphone here for doing this sort of stuff using the ATM Mini or the Yellow Box. But um, when I'm recording and doing voiceover on the Mac, I'm definitely going to be using this. Now, if you do want to hear some more detailed audio tests, I can go dig some stuff out and try a whole pile of different sounds and compare it to a few other microphones I've got lying around. So just let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to do that and also if there is a particular microphone you'd like me to do a comparison with of course and I will uh, get that put together for you. One more thing I'd really like to give a big shout out to Rubber Monkey and Rode Microphone for running this competition. Um, winning this has been great because otherwise I probably wouldn't have been able to get one of these for myself and I really really have been wanting it. The competitions are great and they're really easy to enter. Just go and follow Rubber Monkey and Rode Microphone on their Instagram pages. I've got the links down in the description underneath where you can put comments and stuff, by the way. And um, when more competitions come up, you'll be able to enter them. Both of these places have great competitions all the time. So I highly recommend going and following them. Um, I hope this has been good for you. If it has, don't forget to uh, click down here and subscribe and also watch these two videos because they're awesome and I'll see you in another one real soon. Have a great day.